All right, um, Anton, you ready? You good? Okay. Um, let's go over the original Jelly Roll Blues. Just seeing the kind of uh, richness that the music brings to the community. Uh, we've had rehearsals open to the public. People can just come in off the street, they can hear the music. Uh, we have musicians from all sorts of generations, uh, as young as 19, Antonio and Madruga and his trio. And then we have Benny Banak, the third, who has his quartet, he's in his 20s. Cecile McLaurin Salvant is in her 20s. And then we have uh, wonderful Marcus Roberts on the piano. Uh, he just celebrated his 50th birthday on August 7th. This type of program, what they're trying to cultivate, it isn't necessarily a thing where you show up one, one summer and you're here for a week and then, you know, your name's on the back of the t-shirt for 2013 and that's it, and they never hear from you again. They're trying to cultivate different performance opportunities here, you know, really create a community in the sense of every musician that's been through this program, you're, you're building a base, you're building a family. There is a spiritual component to jazz music. There is a, an element of soul and spirit that has to be there too. And I think that comes about when people spend time and they support each other's efforts. And that helps to establish a certain amount of trust on the bandstand. Um, and I think it also helps the people in the audience to feel that you're genuine about what you're doing, you really believe in it, not just as an individual, but as a group. Across the sea, they knight a man for bravery. Make him a do coming to the Catskills Jazz Factory has been something um, pretty new for me. Um, first of all, I don't live in New York City, so I don't really get a chance to rehearse a lot with uh, my quartet. And so just being able to um, set aside a week to go over new arrangements and maybe go through things that we probably would not have because they're, they seem a little difficult and daunting um, is really great and I think it really helps to develop the, the sound of our group and to have a, a really solid band sound, so it's really exciting. backdrop that I wish all New Yorkers uh, sought in their own lives and uh, all the musicians and everyone that I've met from the Jazz Factory as well as the effort of the Playfairs is indescribable to me. The town's taken notice and all the rehearsals have been public and people have stopped by and there's an excitement, you know, usually a third of the tickets get sold at the door. This time we've been sold out for about three or four days now 
and uh, suddenly we've turned this little town into a town of jazz lovers. I see that girl sitting on a stump. See that girl sitting on a stump. I think arts are a vital part of education, and it's just terrible these days how many cutbacks there are all across the world. Um, I grew up in the UK, and you know they're cutting it back there as well. Without the arts, I think you lose an element of one's humanity. I think the Catskill Jazz Factory has a potential of being a model, not just for jazz, not just for Tannersville, but a model, an example to show what art and a community of people in collaboration can do for the betterment of the human spirit. Incredible. The community is galvanized. People are ready to riot in the streets. Celebration. We'll be partying all night long.